So I've exhausted the topics that I had on my list. Topics. Okay. So what else do we want to talk about with Docker? What other topics? Does Docker have any impact? And maybe you talked about this already, but does Docker have any impact on headless? It, no, it will have impact in the sense that they have released in Sitecore 10, the ASP.NET Core SDK, right? Mm -hmm. So ASP.NET Core is very good with Docker system. So you can now basically build a headless application using Docker with ASP.NET Core as your layer or JSS for that matter. I mean, but, you know, in this release, yeah. they've promoted ASP.NET Core, so you can build on top of that and create a headless solution. Well, here's the thing uh, that I've seen always with Sitecore. Sitecore is always trying to be at the latest and greatest in regards to uh, .NET. They always trying to move forward with the frameworks, uh, the latest framework, um, whenever they're developing, you're, they're always moving. And, uh, and Microsoft sort of has moving or is moving forward core um, it's not that core right now is replacing completely uh, the .NET framework, um, but the but the the move is clearly towards core, having the new features, the new elements, the new pushes for core, um, and then the .NET framework, the the classic .NET basically is getting sort of like um, phased out a little bit. So I'm pretty sure that Sakura is trying to move as well into core. And uh, one of the reasons that I like really core is because uh, you can run it in Linux or uh, other platforms, uh, which means that um, you can have smaller images uh, not only needed to run in uh, in a Windows container. So that's the one that I'm really interested into. I'm not clear on how what you're saying, Pr Prasanth, about how Docker impacts your ability to create .NET Core client applications that are using headless Sitecore. Uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, so our, the .NET Core support so that you can build a new .NET Core application headless. right? outside of Sitecore right. that communicates with your Sitecore server using REST services, right? Right. So how is that impacted at all by containerization? So with .NET Framework, like we saw, the, the image sizes and all those are pretty big, mm -hmm. right? And, and .NET Framework doesn't really, I would say it plays, a, it becomes difficult to work with .NET Framework in the containers. It has a lot of issues that you would come across. But if you are using .NET Core, that's built more surrounding the latest uh, container technology and so on, that it supports those things. You would find a lot of documentation so no, but your .NET Core app is totally separate from Sitecore. Right, right. You because that's a headless. Be using, you may or may not be using containers for right. your Sitecore, but you can still use containers for, for your, your .NET Core application right. or your React application, or you could not use them. One has no impact on the other. Yeah, but you can use them if you want to with the .NET Core uh, applications. But you could do that with React and Vue as well. Right. Right, you can do it with any JSS uh, supported application, I think. Or you could do it with a PHP application if you were yeah. building PHP in front of. Yeah, provided you have a PHP SDK from Sitecore on, on that or using the native services that Sitecore provides. Right. You could use the native services, yeah, that's true. Okay, so I don't see how the containerization is impacted by this .NET Core thing. It's not impacted, but it moves along, it, it, it synergizes. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, it, it, it connects very nicely with uh, with containers. Um, again, the, the great advantage with it connects very nicely with the story about containers. Not necessarily only and with the, the story and the theme, but it doesn't actually change anything. Well, taking this into account, the the great thing about core is how it allows you to customize what you're pushing in when you're pushing the framework, the .NET framework. It used to be the when you when you want to push it on your framework, you have this whole enchilada that you're moving along. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter if you use it or you don't use it, right? .NET. Right, but your core. .NET Core is is a separate is a separate thing from Sitecore. It, well, it's a separate thing in the sense that it's not Sitecore per se. It would be a totally separate yeah, artifact. I, I, I it would be a totally I separate saying that server. Saying. I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean, if you have, let's say, you you create your Sitecore. Uh, containers with everything, mm 
-hmm. you create a separate container with your .NET core application. Yeah. It's completely separate, I mean. Right. One could be a container and the other doesn't have to be. Uh, yeah, and the other Correct. one can be. As well. Both ways. Some other thing, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I believe that Secure will be moving towards making moves into core and making things more container friendly. Right. Yes. So that's how it's like the story flows. Right. Maybe I'm just happy to have containers. <laughs>